Hello everybody, this is Delpha, and we're back in Sunrider, Mask of Arcadia. Let's carry on. Well, uh, that was harder than expected. Ah, Safita. I think I gave her this voice, didn't I? You have my thanks, Captain. Had you not been there, the freighter would have been lost. Uh, no problem. Now, are you going to tell us what exactly we were escorting? I'm afraid that's sensitive client information, Captain. Let it merely be said that the galaxy holds many precious items. Okay. So she's not going to tell us? Um, maybe the best option here is the bottom one, I suppose. Let me just say. Sophia pushed her glasses up, causing them to flash. Some things are better not known. As usual, the Union appreciates your assistance. Goodbye, Captain. Okay. <sighs> Good riddance. She nearly got us killed, and won't even explain why. I say we refuse to take any more escort missions after this. Here, yeah, here! Yeah. I'm getting tired of them! Uh, there's always so many reinforcements! S seriously, that's such a pain. L like, you have any right to complain? It's not my fault they always end up like this. Eey, that's true. Oh, wait, that's the end? Okay then guys, I did some upgrading, I got another Alliance Cruiser, and I've also upgraded the Vanguard Cannon. So, let's carry on with the story. Uh, let's do Claude and Sola, why not? Ah, uh, Sola, what are you doing here? She'll scrub Sola away and whisper to her. Uh, Claude wouldn't have done anything weird to you by any chance, would she? Weird? You know, like, touch you in embarrassing places? <laughs> Or touch you for no apparent reason? C Captain. Oh crap, that totally came out wrong. C Captain! Shock! I was merely giving Sola the finest medical attention this ship has to offer. And yet, you feel the need to lob these scandalous accusations at a hard working professional like myself. Just what part of that outfit you're wearing is professional? Sola eyed the captain with her knees. W wait, Sola. I didn't mean it like that. Claude here has been arrested for medical malpractice more times than you can count. I was just making sure. Oh, Captain. I still remember the day when I came aboard your ship. You led me to the sick bay, then forced me to do this and that, as payment for saving me from those pirates. I became a shamed woman that day. I will never forget! <laughs> Sola zeroed in on Claude with a skeptical look. See, Claude? Uh, but betrayed by my own comrade in arms. I'll just go sulk in the corner now. Sola really does not look happy in this picture, does she? Look at that face. Anyways, what were you doing with Sola? I wish to investigate more how I came to awake in this time. Or well, the easiest explanation would be that I was in a cold sleep for two millennia. I have always harboured doubts as whether such a feat would be possible, even with the technology of my time. Therefore, I had the doctor perform some tests to determine the exact duration of time I was in cold sleep. Based on most recent set of results, the doctor believes I was frozen for merely three months. Three months? Wow, okay. The findings have baffled me as well. The circumstances around my survival have been inexplicable. My body should have been vaporized the instant the final tear was activated. The mere fact I was put to cold sleep is an anomaly in itself. The duration of my sleep only further complicates the mystery. I'm gonna pick the bottom option, because why not? Why not? Uh, you better stop that, Captain. Or else you'll have an entire squadron of jealous girls after you. That's not bad. Only you're interested in that, you dork. I remember my timeline as clear as day. Further, this world is foreign to me, as my time would be to you. Yet, I have no recollection of how I was put into cold sleep mere months ago, or how I even entered your timeline in the first place. The lost technology we've seen so far have had seemingly magical properties, Maybe it had something to do with it. That seems possible. However, I will continue my research before forming any conclusions. Alright, tell me what you find. <clears throat> tell me what you find. I'm curious too. I will, Captain. And there we go. 
Maybe it's something doing with a wormhole or something. Possible. She teleported in time or to a different universe. That's probably it, isn't it? I bet that's it. Okay then, Ikari's turn. Hello there, Ikari. Hey, Captain. How's it going? Just enjoying the view before the storm hits. Rumour has it you're cooking up a plan to sick the beast once and for all. Easier said than done, I'm afraid. Hey, here's a tip from someone who knows. Don't be so twisted up all the time. Hmm? Look, you pretend to be all smiles with the crew, but we all see those dark clouds gathering over your head. Honestly, it's starting to make me uneasy too. I won't let it affect my judgement. You know, what happened to me? I was just 12 years old. The Alliance helped me out a bit, let me survive, but after I turned 16, I was out of the system. It messes you up. I turned to crime, experimented with stuff I shouldn't have, killed a man for my 18th birthday, figured out I had a talent for it, started running with this boy and his band of pirates. It was fun for a while, made some quick bucks. Last I saw of him, he rammed his flaming orbital skiff into an Alliance cruiser. Didn't even dent the armor. Heh. <laughs> you regret all of that? Regret, huh? Yeah. Always feels like the only thing that makes you happy is killing the bastards responsible for it all. But at the bottom of it, there's not a goddamn thing in the world which is going to bring them back. Shield slapped you carry on the back. Well, don't be too down. We've got more reds to kill. Were you even listening, Captain? Huh? You're hopeless. Of course. <laughs> okay then, time to talk to Asaga. Hello there, Asaga. Uh, oh, fancy seeing you here, Captain. Need something? Just making sure everything's alright. ha ha ha! No need to worry about me. Everything's in tip-top shape. Don't worry, we'll smash up the Legion just like we smashed up pork chops back at our port. Chigara tells me you've been acting differently. Uh, oh, did Chigara tell you that? Heh <laughs> well, I just realised. Maybe I haven't been taking things seriously enough. You know, I'm not just a random girl anymore. Aw, I preferred it when you were random. There's a lot of people counting on me. I know it's far away, but one day, we're going to liberate Ruvia Prime from Pact. And then I'll have to lead everyone, just like my father and mother before me. I know I'm not exactly cut out for that kind of stuff, but I'm still going to try my best. Wow, really? I'm impressed, Asuka. Shields laughed and patted Asuka on the head. Uh, uh, you've really come a long way. Stop it, Captain. If you do that, I'll... Oh, huh? Dots, dots, dots. Uh, uh, nothing. I'm the Queen of Ruvia, you know. I'll let you know that normally patting the Queen of Ruvia on the head is a capital offence. Even for a starship, Captain. Uh, but since you're my Captain, I'll let you off with a warning. Your liege, I am grateful for your generosity. Ooh, ha, 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 ha. Awkward laughter. <laughs> okay then, I guess what we have left now is the main story. I think. Yep, okay then. To my quarters. Dots. Doorbell. Shields put the picture frame of Murray back down. Come in. Am I interrupting something? No. What do you have? The latest battle reports from the Alliance. Thanks. The Alliance has made further gains against Pact since the Second Battle of Anges. Latest intel suggests Arcadius is gathering his forces at Sira for a final stand before the Alliance enters Pact territory. Ooh. So Sira will be the decisive battle of this war. If Sira is liberated, the Alliance will be poised to launch strikes into Pact worlds. That's a situation which not even Arcadius will take lightly. He'll have to realise the Alliance cannot be defeated once that happens. His only options would be either to sue for peace, or risk total annihilation. The Alliance has never fought a war beyond the neutral rim in its t entire history. It seems inconceivable they plan to conquer all of Pack space. Grey doesn't fight a war unless he intends to win. Ava looked at the picture frame. It's been a long flight, but it seems like the end is in sight. It really does, actually. I would have preferred to celebrate her birthday on Sira. Doesn't look like we'll make it on time. I put her hand on Shields' shoulder. Ava? These shoulders have carried much. Isn't it time to let some things go? Not yet. Not while a crimson flag flies over our home. 
Not yet. I have nothing further. See you. Dots, dots, dots. Uh, Eleven years ago. Oh my god, seriously? In the past, Kyo sat with Ava in an empty classroom. The curtains fluttered in the breeze as the twilight poured in through the window. <laughs> it's young Ava! Hello! <laughs> hey, Kyoto. Hmm? It's late. Everyone else has already left. Yeah. But you still have the sta that stack of paperwork to do, right? Besides, the graduation ceremony is coming up. We've got a lot of work to do. And nobody else seems to think so. Because you never ask for help. You always try to handle everything by yourself. You know, that just makes you look stuck up. You should stop. Heh. <laughs> oh yeah, but deep down, I know you want me to stay here. Because there's nothing Ava Crescentia li uh, likes less than having to fill in paperwork by her lonesome. Idiot. <laughs> it's really weird coming back to the younger Ava. <laughs> it's really weird. And there we go. I'd say that's good enough for today. Time to relax. Ava stared at the stack of paperwork. Don't worry. I'm sure you filled them out properly. Come on, let's go. I'll just pick up Marae up from her lessons. Yeah, Marae. Come on, let's have some fun. Kyoto grabbed Ava by the arm and pulled her away. But I should double check. It's fine. <laughs> the two walked through the winter chill. Yeah, take this. Kyoto handed uh, Ava a scarf. Don't need it. He wrapped it around her neck. It's already winter. Damn it. Everyone's going to be buried in snow again soon. <laughs> Thanks. Awkward conversation. Yeah. You figure out what you're going to do after graduation? Not really. Tell me once everything's decided. Hmm. It's going to be tough without you, Press. The school's going to miss you. Hardly. <laughs> the two arrived at the concert hall. Your sister still plays music? Yeah, she's gone quite good. I should take you to one of her concerts. Mm. Hey, it's Marae. We haven't seen you in ages. Kyoto. Ready? Uh-huh. The three of them walked home. The maestro scolded me again for dazing off. Really? I thought he liked you. I don't think so. He's always saying I slowed down too much. But I think the song sounds better that way. <laughs> A snowflake fell from the sky. Uh oh! Look, Kyoto! It's snow! So it is. The next thing I know, I won't be able to go to school anymore because our door will be frozen and closed. Ah, uh, you're so weak against the cold, Kyoto. We could build snow forts and have snowball fights. I can't believe we haven't figured out how to build a dome over Sierra City in this day and age. That'd be no fun. Bleh. Meanie. And I'll take a hot beach over the cold any day. Too bad we don't have any of that here. I bet Ava likes the snow more than you. Don't you, Ava? Hmm. It's not bad. See? You traitor. Idiot. <laughs> it's mad. Oh god, it's the um, apartments again. It's so much fun. The trio arrive at their apartment. Your dad's out on deployment again, isn't he? Come on, my mum wants you over for dinner. I shouldn't intrude. No choice. It's a direct order from mum. I want Ava over too. Your dad wanted this too. Then, I guess I have no choice. Thanks. Don't worry about it. And we're back. I guess that was a flashback. Okay then. Okay then, guys. I am going to end it there. Thank you guys for watching. This has been Delpha. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, and all that good stuff. Thank you again, and goodbye.